Welcome to Orange County, California. What was once a sleepy agricultural center, Walt Disney would later put squarely on the map. Orange County is and always has been a place that dreams are made of, California dreams. Today, more than 2,400,000 people from all walks of life from all around the world have been lured here by economic growth and development. A sense of promise that the last 30 years has brought to Orange County. Since 1980 alone, our population has increased nearly 25% and boosted Orange County housing starts by 21%. Orange County is really beautiful. The only thing is it's gotten so crowded lately. And everything looks identical. Everything's the same color. I feel like I spend my whole life in the car. Orange County has seen a dramatic transformation since it was created in 1887. Gone is most of the agriculture on which its economy was originally founded. Today, high-rise corporate headquarters, affluent residential communities, and upscale shopping malls flourish. In fact, with the explosion of available goods and services, it seems that there's very little you can't find in Orange County today, except certainly the vast expanse of orange groves for which it was once known. But with this growth has come a sameness, a homogenization of housing, shopping, and lifestyle. I moved to uh, Orange County in the mid-60s. There were many huge old eucalyptus trees. It was, of course, farming land and walnut groves and orange trees. We had chickens, we had a barn. Remember, the neighbors' houses were about a quarter mile apart. There were dairies and orange groves, and it was a pleasure to you know, be able to go on outings and stuff. Located in the busy center of the county at the intersection of the 5 and 55 freeways, the cozy city of Tustin has positively benefited from the economic growth and development that characterizes modern-day Orange County. The contrasting diversity of new development and older areas of the city has created a unique setting. New housing continues to attract residents, increasing a population that grew by 40% during the 1980s. Spanking new shopping centers provide the very best in goods and services for its citizens while contributing to the city's economy. At the heart of Tustin is a very special place indeed, a place that retains a sense of its own history. Here, the focus is on the values and sensibilities that we too often overlook in this more hectic time. This place is Old Town Tustin. It was on this site in 1868, on land that was originally part of the Rancho Santiago de Santa Ana, that Columbus Tustin first envisioned the city that would bear his name. Many of the buildings here date from the turn of the century when agriculture was king. But a city is more than just a cluster of buildings, and what the people of Tustin have preserved in this 50-acre area is far more than just architecture. Here, the very qualities that make Tustin unique have been preserved for future generations. By embracing its history, Old Town Tustin has truly captured a sense of place. Columbus Tustin established Tustin as a real estate venture in 1868. So he came down at the time that they were partitioning off the old uh, Spanish rancho, the Rancho Santiago de Santa Ana. That rancho was being uh, partitioned because of a severe drought. He called it Tustin City. He really thought it would grow in. He had great dreams, I'm sure. That never came to fruition because for some reason people just didn't come here in droves. When Santa Ana got the railroad, that really spelled the difference. Columbus Tustin was very disappointed and he died in 1883 sure that he was a failure. One hundred years ago, land and building materials were cheap and abundant. Families were often quite large and typically maintained livestock and extensive vegetable gardens. The decorative detail on these Old Town Tustin homes from that period reflect their owner's wealth and standing in the community. Homes were built by the landowner in accordance with individual tastes and featured a wide array of styles, material, and choice of color. The durable redwood used by prominent Tustin citizen Sherman Stevens to construct his house made an epic journey from Northern California in the late 1800s. It was shipped south by boat, then hauled overland by team and wagon. 
After David Hughes donated the golden spike that joined the Transcontinental Railroad, he built Tustin's most elegant home in 1882. Its present owners have lovingly restored it to its original splendor. There will always be homeowners and business people who want more from their city of residence. More of a small town feel and less of a planned community. More sense of place. I first came to Tustin in 1920. We came in in a wagon, I distinctly remember. I was born on Yorba Street. I went through all the 12 years of school in the city of Tustin. It wasn't a city at that time. My dad had walnuts as well as oranges. Uh, after school, my brother and I were responsible for picking up the walnuts. It was interesting to um, have uh, all these orange groves at that time, and now it's completely changed. Charles Edward Utz stands as a shining example of Tustin's pioneering business spirit. After unsuccessfully trying his hand at ranching, then farming, in 1907 he saw an opportunity to take the grapes he was attempting to grow and squeeze them into juice. At its peak of production, the Ut Juice Company was bottling 200,000 gallons of grape and other juices. What began as two modest buildings became the town's biggest employer. Since automobile traffic was not a consideration when Tustin was founded, the shopping area in Old Town was laid out to accommodate foot traffic. Stores were nestled in alongside one another, just steps away from the main thoroughfares. This ease of accessibility, as well as inviting picture windows, still encourages window shopping to this day. I just like to walk around and look in the store windows here in Tustin. It's also fun to be able to walk just downtown and look in the different little shops that are here. There are antique shops that are fun to browse through. There's a, a really unique card shop down here that's got a lot of Irish things that are fun to look at. And it's just quiet here. I love shopping here because everyone's so friendly. And there's so many different stores. It's not like a mall environment where you have everything's the same in little shops. Here, as with Old Town residences, decorative architectural details expressed a merchant's sense of style and community standing. The Tustin Bank, with its splendid architecture, was host to numerous and spirited social activities over the years. Residents deposited their money on the first floor by day and danced across its second floor by night. Sadly, only a parking lot stands as testimony to this building of unquestionable historic value after it was torn down in 1963. Tustin looks very different today than it did for many years. We have lost a number of very attractive old buildings that really gave Tustin a certain charm. The high school building was uh, torn down in 1966. It was a lovely big two-story, graceful building. The Bank of Tustin, which was built in the 1880s, was another one. It is now a parking lot. Um, the hotel was built in the, the 1880s, but it was torn down in 1914. Altogether, too many distinct and historically significant buildings have been lost over the years in the name of progress. What do our grandchildren have to look forward to? You know, everything is being destroyed. We have really historical um, things that we'll, we'll never see again are, are just being torn down and destroyed. My wife and I are members of the Tustin Historical Society because we think it's important that we continue to preserve the history of this old town. We are in a home that was built in 1881, and we think that it's important to this town, and we're thankful that the people that live here are preserving it. If you just tore them down uh, to try to put something new in its place, you'd get, you wouldn't get anything even close to the, uh, the beauty and the, the character of the house. The preservation of the buildings, the care that's taken of these old buildings is really an inheritance for our children and grandchildren, and I have grandchildren now. The National Trust for Historic Preservation calls preservation a celebration of the tangible evidence of our past. If we fail to preserve what's left of our heritage, as represented by Old Town Tustin, we will lose it for all the generations yet to come.
Thanks to the efforts of civic leaders, work has already begun to revitalize Old Town and capitalize on the unique economic opportunities it offers. In 1988, Tustin City Council created the Cultural Resources Overlay District to protect the historic nature of Old Town, as well as to attract new businesses and residents to the area. Probably the, the major asset of Old Town is the fact that you have really existing today something which um, is pretty much as it was historically when Old Town Tustin first developed. A lot of the buildings, the uh, mature landscaping, the older historic homes, and, and the, particularly a lot of the uses, such as the blacksmith shop and the ballet studio, are really unique to Old Town Tustin and reflect upon its uh, historic and uh, architectural character, which is really wonderful. And all the efforts, I think, in the planning for the project recognize that and were interested in developing ways in which you could preserve you not only the physical artifacts such as the buildings but also a lot of the activities that go along with them. Efforts to revitalize Old Town have taken many directions. Important buildings have not only been maintained but brought up to code and in this case moved to a new site to prevent demolition. Although much has already been accomplished there is still work to be done plans to be realized and opportunities to be explored. Today, Old Town Tustin is ripe with possibility regarding adaptation or renovation of existing structures. Commercially zoned vacant lots in the heart of Old Town promise unique business opportunities. These properties have a long history of supporting thriving businesses. They have played vital roles in the community and they can play vital roles again today. This is the first time we've been here, and I don't know why, because it is just wonderful. We just got in the car, we were here in about 10 minutes, and it's just like a whole different world. One of the charms of, of Tustin is the Victorian houses that they have preserved all these many years. Through many trials and tribulations, they've been able to preserve them. These buildings are very important because they'll be here when we're not here if they're well taken care of. Everyone hopes that Tustin is going to be successful in the revitalization efforts for Old Town. There are new property owners who have looked at Old Town and said that uh, this is really a unique place in Orange County and I think that, uh, that uh, I could take this property and redevelop it and make it much, much better than it is today. Some of these people have uh, gone ahead and purchased and have plans to really redo the entire property to be more in keeping with the historic scale and character of Old Town. For generations, people have come to California in pursuit of their dreams. It was Columbus Tustin's dream to create a city that would not only bear his name, but be a place of note to raise a family and watch a business grow. Yet when he died in 1883, he believed that he had failed. Today, however, his dream is very much alive, with the unique character of Tustin's old town maintaining much of its historical charm. It's our legacy from the past, ours to use, preserve, and enjoy. Walking the streets of old town Tustin, it's self-evident that the city has achieved its goal of preserving the past while looking to the future. The value of preserving such grand buildings and shops is readily apparent. Now, civic leaders are looking to the future while remembering the past. The opportunity for commercial growth and success is available today. There's an even greater sense of community being built, brick by brick, in Old Town Tustin. Your chance to be a part of it is now. Welcome home. The neighborhood itself is, is undergoing a revival uh, of the old way. The, uh, the way places used to be built. And to us, that's really symbolic of maybe reflecting back on the, the grassroots of what has made this country strong. I think it's interesting in the city of Tustin to travel up on A Street that uh, quite often you'll see a lot of artists up there painting a lot of the old homes in that area. I think when you look at downtown Tustin and you look at the businesses that are there and you really look hard, you'll see a lot of successful things there comparatively to other areas that have 
old downtowns that are very unsuccessful. So the things that are there are very successful. The open pockets in there are just things waiting to happen. And that's just the next person that has an idea to come in and build something and do something.